It's inspiring to see what a growing, thriving community can achieve over the course of a year. I'm going to take a few minutes and I'm going to show you what you have done. I'll touch on a few highlights here, but the full, thank you, hey, there you go. But the, uh, the full uh, gamut of what we've accomplished can be found on the website on the 2014 year in, re year in review post. Sorry, can get that out. And everything you see here tonight can be found in that article. So, year in 2013, we had 250 members, uh, of which 211 remain. Over the course of 2014, we added 310 members for a whopping total of 521. Now, <laughs> yes. Now that increase more than doubles the membership over the previous year, and the slope of this curve gives us every expectation for more members coming up the line. Now, for those of you who are concerned about this little red dip here, let me note, I got this information off of the Meetup site, and they define an active member as someone who's visited the website while logged into their account over the past 30 days. So. These, this is online activity, not activity within the, the organization. So that fall off should be not at all disturbing for you, and this should be very much encouraging to you. So as interesting as our growth is our geographic distribution. What you see here is that of the 20, 521 members, 69 cities are represented from those 521 members. 69 cities. And 12 of those are not even in California. Look over here, Georgia, Hawaii. That's amazing. Now granted, uh, it's obvious that these, I'm sorry? No, that, all right, okay, all right. So, um, so it's obvious that uh, looking at these numbers, if you look at uh, San Jose, there we go, 400, 243, and you know, uh, where are we? Mountain View, 24, Sunnyvale, 31. So the, the, clearly the, the center of mass is in the San Francisco Bay Area. But, and even though these numbers are very small, ones and twos, it's remarkable to me that folks so distantly located would want to join our community. Of course, we welcome them. This is another view, um, for those of you who are familiar with uh, MATLAB, I got the mapping toolbox and wanted to play with it, so that's why we have this, uh, this beautiful rendition of the uh, San Francisco Bay Area, and all these little dots represent the cities where our membership can be found. And oh, by the way, look across the nation, look at that. It's so exciting. I know, I was excited to play with that mapping toolbox. That's, uh, that was amazing. So, um, So in addition to those who join the ACSJ, or those who consume our content on the ACSJ YouTube channel where we upload the videos that we capture at all these guest speaking events. And there were over 50,000 views in 2014 and over 400 subscribers. And although the overwhelming majority of those subscribers or uh, viewers were in the US, you can see we still have a healthy selection of them from the United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, Germany, and elsewhere. You can see that at the uh, beginning of the year, it was relatively inactive. Look at that, that's pretty flat, January, February, March. And it wasn't until after the carrier event in April that that picked up quite a bit. And in fact, the carrier video is one of the most viewed uh, videos on our YouTube channel. And that continued steadily throughout uh, May through September. And then another spike occurred in the September, October, November when, uh, oh, by the way, we had some guest speakers come by who were the Reverend Barry Lynn, Matt Dillahunty, John Figdor, Sheldon Helms, all through this month. So you can see that that picked up. And so clearly there's a correlation between the content and the consumption. In addition to the YouTube channel, our content could be viewed on Atheist TV from American Atheist. This is available on Roku and uh, streaming live on the American Atheist uh, website, atheist.org. The uh, schedule clearly shows Atheist Community of San Jose content, as you can see here and here. In fact, you, if you uh, were watching earlier today, you saw me speaking again. So and our community is having an impact, not just locally, but across the nation and across the world from our online content, and that's inspiring. So 
Over the course of 2014, we hosted 96 events. Now, uh, I'm not going to go through each event here. That would be uh, time consuming and, and, and uh, not as exciting for you as it would be for me, I'm sure. And the complete listing can be found in the article. But it's just interesting to see the distribution of the types of speaking events. We had 22% uh, guest speakers, topical and educational. The vast majority were the social community building events and the philanthropic events. And so I'll just touch on a few examples here. Like for instance, guest speakers, we had Dr. Richard Carrier, Peter Bogosian, Greta Christina, Jacqueline Glenn, Barry Lynn, Matt Delonte. These are names I've mentioned before. These are the kinds of guest speakers we were able to bring in and host. As far as topical and educational events, we had American Athe uh, Atheist Convention 2014. That was in Salt Lake City. We had Skeptical, TAM, uh, Sacramento Free Thought Day, and the NASA Ames Open House. And these are just examples of these types of events. Uh, as far as social and community building, look at that, late night bowling. Imagine that. Uh, we had the annual picnic, pub crawls, pub socials, um, uh, pizza socials, I'm sorry, uh, beach blanket, blasphemy, the Saturnalia supper. And then, of course, our philanthropic events, which include blood drives, volunteering at the Second Harvest Food Bank. We had a, a volunteer opportunity for Habitat for Humanity, annual coastal cleanup, and leukemia and lymphoma. I want to focus just for a second on these philanthropic activities because we had 15 philanthropic activities this year, and that's fourfold over what we had in 2013. And all indications from our membership is that there's a strong appetite to do even more. And that's encouraging. So to accommodate this growth area in the uh, organization, the board of directors is going to be standing up a philanthropy team. And this team will organize and coordinate the philanthropic activities uh, for members of the organization to participate. And if you're interested in being on this team, not just participating in the events, but being on this team that coordinates uh, these activities, uh, send an email to our email address, which is contact at sanjoseatheist.org, and you'll see that email again later in the, uh, <clears throat> in the presentation. So here are the top 10 attended events. These are the top 10 events by attendance. And you can see at the top here with 157 uh, people attending is the debate on the question, does the God of, quest of Christian theism exist? Now what was gratifying about this attendance is that almost exactly half were non-believers, or were believers, I'm sorry. So we had a very good mix of believers and non-believers in the room. So that was, that was encouraging to see that they showed up and wanted to participate in this event. Oh my goodness, what in the world is up with that? Ah, something happened. Oh, see, okay, so I generated this on a Mac, and we're looking at it on a PC. So who knows what happened? Um, so the next one is an evening with Matt Dillahunty with 128. Now that was one of our most popular events. And Matt Dillahunty is a fantastic speaker and a, and a huge personality. We enjoyed hosting him. And of course, uh, then there are the Dr. Richard Carrier's event, all the way down to uh, Greta Christina's Coming Out Atheist, Peter Bogosian's Street Epistemology, John Figdor's Objective Morality, uh, Sheldon Helms' uh, Psychological Pseudoscience, Barry Lynn's Separation of Church and State, Jacqueline Glenn making atheism a positive thing, and Mitch Diamond's Problem with Consciousness. So you can see we've had a lot of attendance, and our attendance has been growing steadily over, uh, uh, over uh, you know, each event. Uh, this is uh, the, the poster that we had for the debate event. Now, uh, Brian and I went through several places. Santa Clara University was one of them, posting these up in different places in order to, to uh, uh, attract uh, the, the, the believing crowd. And here's a few uh, photos from that event. You can see Justin Schieber here and Ignacio Reyes looking thoughtfully here as I'm sure I was speaking. And you can see here the, the huge event. We had people back in the back of standing room only. That's how big this event was. And this is, of course, the evening with Matt Dillahunty. You can see our esteemed leader, uh, Brian Broom, was interviewing Matt Dillahunty, and he, uh, he was very engaging. We enjoyed uh, that event. In addition to the evening with Matt Dillahunty, we also had Matt <clears throat> for a pub crawl. And as you can see here, we almost completely took over one of the pubs in downtown San Jose. This is in San Pedro Square, is that correct? Now, if you look at this picture over here, you can see all these people in this picture. And there's a head there and a head there, and right back there you can see there's a small face in the background, way in the back. 
That's the only guy that wasn't a part of the ACSJ. Everybody else in this picture is a part of the ACSJ. So you can see that we pretty much took over everything. It was a fun night. We enjoyed that. So in addition to the top 10 events, I have the top 10 commented events. Now these are the, the, the events that provoke the most online traffic. And as you can see, it, probably not surprisingly, that John Figdor's objective morality is a myth Got 304 posts from 25 posters. Now what's interesting about this is I recall being in that morass, and I remember not once or twice, but several times, John Figdor jumping in there and posting, hey, wait till the talk and we'll discuss these things. But no, nobody listened. Then there was the annual picnic, that got 190, although I suspect most of those po uh, posts were mo mostly about what are you bringing and does anybody have a frisbee or things like that. And then as we go down the great guy debate and we go down and we see that the, uh, the online traffic that was provoked there. And of course the online traffic is telling about how controversial the topic might be or how much enthusiasm there might be in the membership for that topic. Uh, below here we have uh, the top ten uh, members by number of posts and top 10 members by number of likes in the post. And you can see, yeah, there's, I'm sure your name is up there. Um, Lynn, you're number one with 259 posts. Where's Lynn? Yay, Lynn! And Brian is number one with likes. Hey, Brian! Yay. I'm not, I wasn't sure I was going to say this, but now I'm going to say it. I have the best ratio. <laughs> I'm just going to throw that out there. But uh, another interesting thing to note that of the, uh, uh, over the 96 events, there were 2,758 posts with 182 posters. And fully half of those 2,758 posts were by these 10 people right here. <laughs> so <laughs> I think we need a lot more diversity in our online traffic. So what do we got here? So uh, these are uh, our online uh, addresses, if you will, and everybody recognizes those, I'm sure, but what's changed is the .org. We're no longer on .com, we're on .org. We've, uh, we've updated our website, we got a refresh of that, and with that came this new domain and the new contact, which is contact at sanjoseatheist.org. The remainder, the Twitter, the Facebook, the YouTube, and the Meetup, they're all the same, but those top two have changes. But the, and the .com is still redirected to the .org domain. And the reason we have the .org domain is because our website got updated. It got refreshed. I'm sorry? We have acsj.org. Is that redirected to this? I hope it is. If it's not, we need to talk. Um, so raise your hand, Dana. Dana Nor Nori is our webmaster and our web developer, and she is the one that uh, spent considerable time putting this together. This website is more engaging and, and, and nice to look at. We encourage you to go look at it, and we encourage you to uh, provide content because the members providing content is important. This is the blogging area where uh, members can post articles and, and resources and stuff relevant to uh, the ACSJ, atheism, skepticism, and secularism. And this is also where, you, where you'll find the 2014 year in review article that we're uh, going over right now. Now the next little bit is not as dry as this title might lead you to believe. 501c3 nonprofit status. We got our 501c3 nonprofit status this year. Yes. This was a milestone. It was granted in 21 July, and this now provides additional opportunities for financial support, which includes corporate grants, tax-deductible donations, access to reserved goods and services, reduced pricing on some goods and services, and more. So this has been a real boon for us, and we're looking forward to leveraging it at, to the hilt. Here are your officers. Uh, these are the same officers you've seen and grown to love. What we will note is that our, uh, our two new officers over the course of 2014. They are Lynn, she was uh, welcomed to the board as a public relations officer. <laughs> and Kevin Harms, who is in charge now of our documentation. There's Kevin, raise your hand, Kevin, thank you. So we're very fortunate and appreciative that they volunteered their time to, uh, to make this the uh, organization that it is. Now here's treasury data. This represents how the money has been flowing in and out of the ACSJ over the past year. 
The uh, blue bars represent the donations, the red bars expenditures, and the black the total balance of, over that time. Now you can see that uh, January through about July, we were operating on pretty much of a shoestring budget there. There wasn't a lot of margin for error. And it's no surprise that with the uh, receipt of our 501c3 status, we started getting much larger donations, and we're very appreciative of that. And it's also no surprise that with that increased funding came the more notable guest speakers that we were able to bring in, and those, of course, were the guest speakers you've seen before. So I want to say that the, the, the ACSJ Board of Directors and Support Staff have been good stewards of the generous donations that the, the members have, have been able to, to support us with. And uh, we've developed and supported this uh, community. We've supported the, uh, the mission statement of the organization. We've provided online resources, the guest speakers, the, uh, the, uh, the hosts, uh, being able to host some of the notable guest speakers that we've had in this venue. And, and, and we're really, we really hope that we're doing good by you by uh, uh, spending your money well. And in summary, the greatest success of this organization has been the growing community of atheists and like-minded non-believers. And the members are what makes it happen. And that's you by participating in the meetup events and activities. Now, and that's not just participating in these Wednesday nights. That means suggesting meetups as well. And in fact, 78% of the events this year were member-suggested meetups. And so, yeah. So uh, it's not just us standing up here talking at you. It's everybody in here participating and getting involved. And of course, participating in online uh, activities and comments via Facebook and Meetup and, uh, and those uh, portals. Presenting relevant materials as a guest speaker. We had 43% of the guest speakers we had were members of the ACSJ. So that's, that's important and that's uh, very gratifying. Uh, writing articles for the website, uh, volunteering your time and expertise for the organization. We've got a diverse and very talented group of people, and uh, the ACSJ has benefited greatly from those members who volunteer their skills and expertise. Uh, your continuing financial support. Uh, of course, none of this would be possible without your generous donations. And of course, continuing to promote a positive public perception of atheists and secularists, not only in your daily life, but online as well. And I, I want to sum this up, and I feel like it's all summed up in my favorite quote from David Silverman, which is that we're not creating atheists, we're creating a home for them. I love that quote. So seeing what we've accomplished over this past year gives us every expectation for bigger, better, and greater things going forward. Thank you. <laughs>